So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It's another overcast day here in Pennsylvania, but that's okay because I'm still enjoying my time off of work. As a matter of fact, it's gonna be pretty hard to go back here in another week or so. I mean, this is the life right here. This morning, I took the old flintlock for a walk out in the woods. We did a little bit of hunting. Saw some doe there pretty far, didn't have a good shot, but uh, it is warm right now. For the end of December, it's about 55 degrees, something like that. Not really, I mean, this is actually too much right here wearing the hoodie, but I'm actually battling a bit of a cold here. Uh, but I like to tell Melissa it's the worst cold anyone has ever had, ever. But uh, it's getting a little bit better, and I was just bragging the other day. I said, you know what, this entire year, I didn't even have a sniffle. And about three nights ago, man, I was all clogged up and it just feels good to be outside though. The air is a little bit better, it's kind of moist. I don't know what it is, but uh, I like getting out and moving around. It makes me feel better. But like I said, this morning did some hunting, and this afternoon we're gonna saw a little bit of lumber. I've got a real nice cherry log. I think it's real nice. You never really know till you open it up. But I just put it on the uh, LX150 here. We're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. This one we're gonna saw into four quarter. Should get some pretty nice wide boards, some clear boards, we'll see. Now this log here, it came from a tree back in the woods. It was a blowdown. It was way down over the hill, and I was able to use the Wallenstein skidding winch to pull it up top. And then the other day when it was frozen, I skidded it the whole way back here to the yard. Worked out really well. But it really makes you feel good because like a tree like that, very, very hard to get to. You know, down over the hill, you know, most times I would have just left that alone. You just couldn't get to it. But here it is sitting on the mill. Nothing will go to waste. And uh, like I said, you never know till you open it up, but I think this is gonna be a pretty good log. It's about 23, 24 inches in diameter. I cut a couple pieces off the end because it had a big bow to it there at the end. So I got a nice straight log here. Should be pretty good. So we're gonna make a couple cuts here right now, and then we're gonna flip it. Now one's this big. Usually I use the uh, strap in the tractor to turn it. Uh, because this mill here does not have the hydraulic turner, but that's okay, it's got the big capacity, it's the one that I wanted, it's the LX150. I haven't ran this for a while, I've been so busy with everything, and uh, but yeah, I've been wanting to saw some lumber, so that's what we're gonna do. This strap works really well. I just set the choker real low on it. Almost around the bottom. And then when I pick it up with the tractor, it'll flip it over real nice and easy. Something like that.
that is really nice. Look how pretty that is. Oh boy, I'm gonna use a strap.
All right, so we got all that lumber right there out of that one cherry log. Okay. How big are those uh, wide ones there? 14. There's 14 inches wide. Seven of them. There's seven of those. Seven and a half. Nine of these. Nine of those. And then those other ones, I know, they're three and a half inches wide. Uh, yeah. You have four of them. And plus those two live edge slabs. Those are beautiful. Yeah, they are. That's pretty impressive though. That's that one yeah. log. I was telling them at the beginning of this video, it blew down, down over the hill. Okay. I couldn't even get to it. And that's the one that I tried to get with the uh, that John Deere 333 when I had it. Uh, I couldn't right, get it out of the right woods right. with that. And then that Wallenstein winch. So it's out that, yeah, anywhere it's Pulled it up the top of the hill, brought it in here, made some beautiful lumber out of it. Nice. That, that is awesome. Very nice. Melissa is slowly uh, getting back into it. Yeah. She just got her stitches out of her stitches foot. Today. What did the doctor say? Um, put it, keep a band-aid on it and take it easy. Keep it elevated. So you're down here carrying lumber. Maybe you shouldn't yeah. do that. Well, I can walk and, and that sort of thing, but you know, don't overdo it. And yeah. Don't sign up to run a marathon or anything. Yeah. I'm like, okay, good, because whew. Wasn't planning on that. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful today. Yesterday was high 63. Today is it's about the same today. 63, maybe 64. For December. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so big day tomorrow. The Morgan household. Oh, yeah. He just remembered, I guess. No. It, it's Eva, our youngest daughter's birthday tomorrow. So, yeah, so Sunday was our son Levi's 26th birthday. Wednesday was Jesus' birthday. And tomorrow is Eva's birthday. She's 15. So, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of fun at our house. <laughs> Eva's always uh, gets the, here's your Christmas gift and your, oh, and your birthday present yeah, too, kind of thing. things wrapped in Christmas. But I do not do that, but. A lot of people do. It happens. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, but when you get somebody that gets what they want, uh, you know, she has everything she needs, you know? Yeah. When she was little, she wanted a bunch of stuff, but. So I think before it gets dark, I may uh, split a little bit of wood and then might even saw some red oak here before it gets dark. And then tomorrow I'll come down here with the forks, okay. pick all this up, take it up and sticker it all. But that's some pretty nice lumber right there. Nice, yeah. Well, do you want to close this video out for us? Oh, and mention our Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, so check out our Facebook, Outdoors with the Morgans. Instagram, Outdoors with the Morgans. I know some of you say on YouTube, you stick to YouTube and don't do other social media, but we have a lot of people, new subscribers and joining. So go check out Outdoors with the Morgans, Instagram and Facebook. I do one post, usually one picture post a day and share what we're doing around the place and with the family. And uh, we'd love for you to Check it out, like it, follow us. And you can also, when you post pictures on Instagram, use the hashtag Outdoorgans. So just do hashtag Outdoorgans. It's created a whole community, brought everybody together and you can see one another's pictures and uh, like each other, and, you yeah. know, that sort of thing. It's Yeah, you search for Outdoorgans. She had to explain to me how to do it, but uh, it's pretty yeah. neat. You can see people from all over the world that watch our channel. And, and then, then those people are yeah. interacting with one another. It's been great. Oh. All the uh, finer things in life, like I said, really firewood is. and tractors and yeah. stuff like that. Dogs. Sawmills, dogs. Yeah. And I want to tell Johnny Holcomb, he made uh, me, Hannah, Eva bracelets. And um, I'm wearing mine. I love it. So, Johnny, thank you very much. The girls say thank you. We really appreciate it. This is beautiful. Um, I picked and then the other two picked. The other two are different and they got theirs. They love them. So, thanks very much. Uh, On a positive note, like click like, subscribe, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and share them with your friends. And guess what? I can go downstairs now. <laughs>